Right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well a Leo Rising. Weekly general tarot reading, uh, October 5th to October uh, 11th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading or you want to take uh, my tarot classes, all the information you need in order to do that is uh, in the description down below. So with that being said, um, let's jump into the reading itself. Right, so the first card shows uh, the week itself and uh, what the week is going to be all about. Well, we do have the Hermits and then it's uh, combined with the Ten of Wands, or the Ten of Cups, I'm sorry. And uh, you are about to find your thing, aren't you? So what those uh, couple of cards really suggests, it is that, um, well, they kind of like really speaks the most to those that are very unhappy of their life. And uh, the cards are saying that this week is the week where you do find your happiness once again. It's pretty much what they, what they tell us is that your life either slowly progressingly or all of a sudden is going to start worth living again. Now, the question is why? Oh, it is because something will appear. It could be the appearance of a person that you are going to be enthralled by. They're going to be enthralled by you and together you move forward to make a fantastic relationship. It could be the job you require. Something out there is going to appear for you that will give you purpose, that will give you direction, that will give you a thing to look forward to for the hermit signifies in that particular case, the light at the end of the tunnel or the light that shines for you in the dark place where wherever you are finding yourself at. And you are gonna love the lights, okay? Here with the 10 of cups, it will be, it will give you all the warmth you need and, and also all the um, assurances you require, if you will, to imagine your future secured, if I may say it that way. So after this week, it will be a miracle if you do have things to worry about, for the most part. So um, those couple of cards, how can I say, it? they are pretty strong in the sense of that, well, yeah, I mean, there is no other way to say it, but you are to find a purpose. That's, that's all that there is to it. So uh, what is going to hold you back though? What is out there that will kind of like act as a detriment to your progress? We do have the tower and then that is going to be accompanied with the page of wands. So the tower and the page of wands here speaks about your impatient drive and that is kind of understandable where you do, you know, you do find finally some kind of a purpose or some kind of a goal, you do find finally the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel. I do want to hug it as fast as possible and that is what is gonna make it even distant, uh, more distant than actually is. Uh, I don't know what are going to be the circumstances surrounding it, but those couple of cards here points that drastic and radical transformation or drastic and radical change toward the new uh, actually is going to rumble and decimate your environment and your life more than it needs to be. They even speak more about it. That's uh, how can I say that um, you may try to face all of those uh, changes alone because here finding the light at the, at the end of the tunnel is a change, right? And trying to face the change alone, it will be more overwhelming than actually is going to be helping. And those cards here are pointing that you're, if you are not um, kind of like wake up sooner or later, you are gonna find the, the, the hard way that you are not as strong as you think you are on your own. 
Now, at the end of the day, nobody does it by itself, right? Everybody needs connections. Everybody needs support. You do have such, especially having the Ten of Cups here. It is just you should put your pride on the on the shelf, shyness as well, and look around. You don't have to look very far. For those who are faithful supporters of yours, they will follow you anywhere here, especially with the Hermit. Those that are there just for the, the heck of it, they will abandon you. They're not going to applaud you for your progress, but you don't need such kind of people. But those that are willing to rally around you, you should accept that rally. There is no need for you to deny it whatsoever. The more help you deny, the tougher the thing is going to be to a point where probably you won't be able to recover. So don't be stubborn, okay? Following next, it is what is going to help you. And we do have the Five of Pentacles here accompanied with the Judgment. And a um, couple of things actually looking at those couple of cards. Now, the first and the most important, it is the... Um, the realization from your behalf, actually whatever you are facing here, whatever darkness you are standing against, it is actually not as black as you think you are. So there is no reason for the gloom that you may have, okay? But instead you should um, kind of like take the rally once again for what you, the, just look at it. You do have two people being in the winter, right? tackling with the um, misfortune of the situation one of them let's say it's you but as you can see you are not alone in this and there is no reason to face your predicaments alone and if you combine it with the other card as well we can see many people rising from the ashes right but here the judgment just play a role that the uh, the predicaments that you may be facing in terms of career or in terms of relationship they are not as severe as you think they are and uh, probably here by finding the purpose you know by finding the direct about the direction that you need to undertake the path that you need to move forward uh, it will actually relieve uh, a certain uh, weight from those uh, from those problems that you are facing and they are going to start losing relevance to your life more and more as you move forward into the future and the other thing that actually helps you here are the problems themselves so usually when people face predicaments okay they are feeling bad and those predicaments does not actually play any role for their growth uh, in the sense of the predicaments are just slowing you down but here those predicaments actually quenched you and you are as you are and you are going to be as you're going to be thankfully to those predicaments if you didn't have those predicaments you wouldn't move an inch even uh, in a progression moving forward in terms of career or in terms of relationship just to give you an example here if you do have a predicament into your relationship say you are a temporary separated with your partner it's highly likely that you're going to realize you both i mean are going to realize that you cannot live without one another and that relationship will become even stronger than before which could not have could have not happened if you did not uh, suffer that predicament, right? So the predicament, instead of hurting you, is actually, as a result, it's helping you, or rather like it's making your situation better than before. And that is exactly what it helps you by itself. You don't have to do a thing, okay? Aside from uh, accepting the help once it's offered to you. You don't have to do anything else. And as well, do not deny your calling here with the uh, with the hermit. One more thing when we touched on our relationships, especially for those that doesn't know what they are feeling towards somebody throughout this week, it's highly likely that you are going to realize what your true feelings are. And although, as we can see here, there are going to be certain obstacles for you to either express them or manifest them at the end of the day, you will be able to do so for the other side is feeling the same way. And the last card here shows uh, how the week is going to end for you, Leo. Uh, we do have the six of, of uh, swords uh, with the four of swords uh, with the four of swords. So with those couple of cards, 
they do speaks uh, they do speak about the determination and the uh, personal awareness that what you are to do uh, it's inevitable and it is the right thing for you to do and on top of that those couple of cards are speaking that uh, under normal under previous circumstances not normal but previous circumstances moving forward and undertaking certain actions would have been uh, very hectic from your behalf and very uncomfortable now as you do realize what the true nature of those actions is uh, and um, how can I say it as you do resign about that this is the right course of uh, of action whatsoever uh, you are to traverse the threshold that separates you from being happy and being emotionally stable from being unhappy and in emotional distress and turmoil with much more ease for what the bottom line here is going to be it is that anything that the future holds the unknown future holds which pretty much is also here the only thing you know is the goal but how you're gonna get there is yet to be determined so anything that this future holds is going to be better than whatever you are finding yourself at in regards to the situation that these cards are related to for the situations are unique and every single Leo has a, a unique situation unique life that they are experiencing right now and these cards are going to relate in a, such a unique way with every single unique life so that being said leo this was your a uh, weekly general tarot reading uh for october 5th to october 11th 2020 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye